Hello YouTube, it's Ari Mae here, and I am here for part four of my story. I know I am very sorry it's continued this long, but I just, I want to get everything out there. I want to really be an open book with you all. I've told you a lot of my life, some of it related to being trans, a lot of it's related to being my, coming out as transgender. It all leads up to it. And then I saw, I've thrown a lot of stuff that probably I didn't have to, but I mean, I did. A lot of experiences I've had and everything. Okay, anyways, we're in 2014 now, and... Before I talk about 2014, I want to rewind 2013. In 2013, my little circle friend I told you about, like there was like there was, there was five of us that like, were like really a big click, and then there was always a few extra outsiders on the circle that were always like were always around. We didn't really consider them in the circle, but they were always around us. So like we just, I guess they were like part of the circle, but they weren't. If that makes sense. Anyways, um, in 2013, my circle pretty much all branched off. We all started doing our own thing. We still all hung out, but very seldomly all at the same time. A lot of them got, like a lot of the original circle members got into a real big spat and they did, they refused to speak, so there was that. Okay, now I'm at 2014. Okay, 2014 was the year I really, I came to terms with who I was, and that was the year I figured out I could identify myself as transgender. So, early 2014, nothing too eventful, just continuing what I did, had my friends call me what they did. At the end of 2013, though, I ended up getting involved with, um, she was my second, like, really serious relationship, and, like, I didn't really think I'd be able to fall in love after Abby, but I did. Her name was Kelsey. Me and her are actually really good friends now. But, um, anyways, we were, um, in 2014, like, I, I started, I was really starting to really express more who I was and everything. Um, for years I had worn skinny jeans, and in 2014 I kind of like branched off, like, okay, I don't really want to wear skinny jeans anymore, I want to just keep away from them and everything, so I stopped wearing skinny jeans, I, even though they were a way of expressing myself, I was just like, okay, I'm going to keep away from skinny jeans, and um, in 2014, I didn't really suffer too much depression, because like, I was like really over that, like I still suffered from dysphoria, obviously, and felt like out of place, like I never fit in, but I was just like ready to finally accept who I was and figure out. I said that year I was going to come to terms with who I was, and I did. But um, and then in I'd say March it began. It was right before me and my ex Kelsey broke up, but me we I ended up my one of my old good friends. She came over a lot. We got really close that year. She came over a lot, and we ended up like she used to always do my makeup, and that was the first time like I actually took a lot of pictures, and like I really really felt comfortable. I felt pretty, I felt just in place. And that continued for a good while. And uh, automatic. I don't know if I have to record. Anyways, um that year just like all I kept like really trying to express who I was, trying to figure out who I was. I felt really lost. Um But like I wasn't it wasn't like a depressed loss it was just I was like feeling more lost than ever and I was just so ready to finally figure out who I was and I really started asking a lot of people and they were just like well do you think you might be transgender and I was like hmm, what's that word like I mean I was I was familiar with the LGBT community because I had a lot of friends who were gay lesbian bisexual and whatnot like I never really knew what the T stood for though like I was like well what's that mean so I really started doing some research and in August of that year, I got hired at a job that is was uh, it was Solomon Auto Group. It was a car dealership. And from the second I started, I hated the job and I hated most of the people. Some of you will probably see this and just know that's how I felt. But um, the other thing I loved about the job was I loved being able to drive cars. I loved it was a Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep, Ram dealership, so I got to drive. Chargers, Challengers, my favorite car, Darts. Got to drive all the used cars we'd get in. It was just a dream come true. The money wasn't great, but it wasn't terrible. Anyways, um, started there in August. And then just over the next few months, I would just continue being who I was. I would, like, whenever I was off at work from a day and I knew, like, my mom wasn't home, my brother was at school, um, I would just really, like, I'd dress up as myself. I ordered the wig the year before in 2013. And I would just try it on, and I ended up ordering a lot more wigs when I was working at Solomon's with my paychecks. I would go on Amazon and just order uh, wigs and clothes and whatnot online. 
and finally bought some makeup that year and really started expressing who I was. Not outside the house, though, so when no one was home, I was just like, I'd dress up and take pictures, and I'd feel like I was myself. I'd feel just comfortable like that. And, uh, hot up here. Anyways, um, what else? Um, but then in October was when I made my big, big breakthrough. It was like, okay, I could, I finally was like ready to come to terms with it. And my, me and my friend Sarah, we were hanging out one day. I picked her up from her house and we were going to hang out with my friend, with Sammy, which became, was starting out, was in about a month from then, had a really big impact on my life and me and her became the best of friends to this day. She is, I'll talk more about her in a minute, but she is just the closest person I have to me. I can, one of the closest people I have to me, consi I consider. Um... Then October 2014, we were, like I said, we were on our way to go hang out with my friend Sam, my, uh, Sammy, and Sarah asked me, she's like, I can ask you something. I was like, okay, ask me. Whenever people, whenever people said that to me, though, like, I would always freak out because like, when someone says, I have to talk to you about something and I have a question for you, like, it would always, like, freak me out and just like, well, what's this about? Because you just, you never knew what it was going to be about because whenever someone brought up to me, like, always said it to me in the past, it led to something really bad. So... Um, she asked me, she said, so when I've painted your nails before and done your makeup, did you like that kind of stuff? And I was just like, yeah, actually, I really did. And then that, like, he mainly said a trick, like, okay, I'm, she finally brought it up to me and just, we went to Sammy's and we hung out. I was, I wasn't there the whole time we were hanging out. Like, I was just, like, just somewhere, my mind was elsewhere. After Sarah brought that up to me, I was just really, like, in just a state of, like, I really am, I think I'm ready to confirm that I'm transgender and then that night after I took her home we were left Sammy's I texted her I went home and just had a mental breakdown texted her and was just like you know Sarah I felt trapped for a long time I transgender blah 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 and she said that I'm always gonna be your friend no matter what she said you've always been Ryan to me but I'll adapt and I'm not gonna abandon you just because I'm like this and it meant the world to me to hear that from my best friend like that was always my biggest fear like, I know I shouldn't have been scared to tell my best friend but she was so close to me I didn't want to like um, like ruin my friendship with her. I didn't know. I didn't, I didn't think it would, but you never know. You know, some people react differently than others. But then, so over the next several months, I just started doing my own makeup and like really like being myself in my house. My friend Sarah did my makeup a few times and everything, but and then over that year as well, my friend Felicia she did my makeup a few times as well. And it was just we had. I was really starting to express myself and who I was. And then finally, over the next several months, just it was all building up. And then in April, in March, or it was March 13, 2015, my, where I was working at, yeah, it was Friday 13th, of course. And where I was working at, I was delivering parts for that auto garage I was working at, um, Solomon's Auto Group. And the van I was driving, I was driving their company van delivering vehicles, uh, delivering like auto, parts to an auto body garage. And... The van I was driving, it's I don't I don't remember if I didn't put it all the way in park and it, I put it in neutral or if it slipped out of park and went into neutral. I honestly don't know, but the van started drifting forwards and I tried to stop my van, the van with my right knee, and it pinned my knee between the van and the concrete wall, and that has led to where I'm at today with my knee surgery and everything. But I'll talk about that in sadly part five. I know I'm sorry it's so long. Hope you're all following along for the whole ser whole five episodes. But anyways, um, my, um, where was I at? Sorry, my mind slips sometimes. I was, oh, my knee injury. Okay. Well, it was March, and I couldn't walk for a month. My, I was on crutches, I was in a knee brace. I was doing some physical therapy, but very light, and just, my knee was really, sorry, here's bothering me. But, um. I really, like, whenever I was done, I'm going to continue this in part five. So I will see you all. Please keep following along. It's already right here. See you soon.